Item number SCP-5979 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Suppression of any established scientific discoveries regarding SCP-5979 has been implemented and will remain active until SCP-5979 becomes observable to the naked eye. Any radio communication from SCP-5979 must be dismissed as hoaxes from local conspiracy theorists and discredited sources. Live broadcasts of the observable universe must also be censored until such a time that SCP-5979 enters our solar system. Due to the sheer size and mass of SCP-5979, containment is impossible. SCP-5979 must remain under Foundation observation in the event of any further changes in regards to its velocity and location. Description SCP-5979 is a designation given to a celestial body approximately 12 times the volume of Earth. SCP-5979 is currently traveling at 252,792 kilometers per hour and is on a direct collision course with planet Earth. SCP-5979 trajectory adjusts periodically in direct correspondence with Earth's orbit. At this time, there is no known method of obstructing SCP-5979 trajectory. SCP-5979 is able to communicate through radio waves, which has been translated from German. See transmissions. Attempts to establish two-way communication with SCP-5979 have proven ineffective, as SCP-5979 either unable or unwilling to respond to outbound transmissions. Transmissions The following transmissions were received by Site-57's Deep Space Communication Device and have been translated from German to English. Date, January 3rd, 2045. Time, 235. I do not hear from you anymore. Is everything okay? Have the stars aligned for you? Or have you fallen ill from your star's radiation? Are you looking at the same stars that I am? I hope so. I miss you more and more with every passing cycle. Please, I just want to know if you're okay. Date, January 16th, 2045. Time, 12.35. Do you remember that time in the Milky Way? It must have been billions of years ago by now. I've never felt anything like that since I was with you. Have you? You're far too important, too busy to reflect on the memories, I'm sure. But they will live on with me forever. Date, February 9th, 2045. Time, 1645. I'm sorry I left you. You told me you were okay with it. But, but, I know you better than that. I hope you can forgive me, Starlight. No other planet fits my orbit quite like you did. I never should have listened to Sun. Date, February 14th, 2046. Time, 121. It has been too long since we last spoke, even longer since I've had you in my orbit. I miss the way we used to talk. I miss how much you affected my tides. My gravitational pull, even the breeze that floats through my surface. I missed way the stars make your atmosphere glow. Do you miss me at all? Date, August 9th, 2047. Time, 1600. I've left my system. I'll be there shortly. I love you, and I'm sorry I didn't show you that enough before. Please forgive me. Update. The following transmission was intercepted by the International Space Station. Date, August 10th, 2047. Time, O. Oh. I loved you too, but you had your chance. I have a moon now. It's time to let go. The message did not come from any known transmitter on Earth. 
that no records of the transmission being recorded have been found. SCP-5979 velocity had since stopped entirely, and its location in the galaxy has remained unchanged.